Yeah, g'day, it's Charlie ZL2 CTM. Let me just turn off and I'll, um, I just wanted to do one last video just to uh, cover off on on some changes or final changes that I've made to this little radio here uh, before I move on to something else. <clears throat> so if I just unplug then I can just have a bit of a talk. So uh, what I, um, I decided to do, so down here you'll see um, a, uh, another detector, so um, in fact, what I'll do, sorry, probably just better off I'll just go through and just sort of do a bit of a summary, I guess, of where we got to. So, um, very simple little radio, nothing special here, nothing nothing fantastic. Uh, just a single conversion um, super hit uh, using this uh, AM um, filter here. So RF comes in and just just follow the follow the lines through the, uh, the filter which we looked at uh, on a previous video. Um, through a little RF amplifier, um, the gain set for that is very, very low. Uh, just giving just a little bit of a, uh, a nudge, but um, not wanting to amplify um, too much of the noise. So just a very small amount of amplification there. Uh, into the SBL1, uh, there's the local oscillator there, which uh, no changes to the, the local oscillator in the box here. Uh, into a second uh, dual J310 set up as a, like a, a MOS gate, dual gate MOS gate type arrangement. Uh, again with uh, the variable voltage there for the gain uh, into the crystal filter, into the second IF amp um, I've got a, a third little, uh, third lot of amplification which um, I spoke about in the previous video um, and then what I have changed was the uh, was the detector so down in here what I've elected to do is move away from that very simple uh, envelope detector uh, and have now gone for an infinite impedance one. So again, uh, based around a, uh, a J310, um, and the circuit for that is is here. Let me just zoom back a little bit. And that should be in focus. So again, J310, uh, got the RF coming in uh, with through a 10 nanofarad capacitor. Um, some of the circuits you see online don't have this this resistor here between the gate and the ground. Um, I elected to to put that in just to bleed off any um, static that may be on the gate. Um, I kept it as high as I possibly could so I didn't actually interfere too much with the high impedance that was already being presented by the gate of that device. Um, and in circuit, out of circuit, it, um, it's really no different. So um, I'm going to leave that in there. 13.8 uh, volts on the uh, on the VCC there, or the VDD, uh, being the drain. 6.8K, uh, a couple of decoupling capacitors there, just a junk box, 47 microfarad and 10 nanofarads, uh, and a 27K in the source. Uh, across that, uh, 470 picofarads through a one uh, microfarad capacitor, and then across a, uh, a 100K uh, trim pot there, which is this one here. Um, you may recognize that circuit. Um, I actually couldn't find it, but uh, apparently it's out of an earlier version of the ARRL um, handbook. Um, but uh, it works particularly well. Um, the, the problem I had with the, the envelope detector, which um, is, a, is a known issue, is you need to get the voltage above um, the uh, turning on voltage for that diode before it starts to detect. Um, and it just for the very low um, signal levels coming in for some of that during that fading it's sort of chopped in and out a little bit and there's a little bit of, sort of distortion whereas this detector here works very very well down to the noise floor so to speak um, and works particularly well um, other than that no other changes uh, that RF that's so again the audio frequency amplifier there is working great guns so um, I'm not going to make any changes to that and overall um, I'm happy so the form fits exactly what I wanted which is going to fit nicely into uh, nicely into uh, where I want to um, have it mounted. So yeah, all in all, very happy with that. Um, sorry about this. I'm not quite sure why this is not zooming out. There it is. Apologies there for the very poor uh, camera work there. Um, but yeah, so, so in summary, you know, quite happy with how that's turned out, and uh, and uh, we'll leave it like that. Okay, cheers all, 73s, and uh, we'll start on the next project.